Okay, I'm just cracking on with a three minute game. And just develop the knight, supporting the pawn. Push the pawn up, supporting the pawn. Let's capture this pawn, keep it simple. And just bring the bishop through, supporting the knight. Might as well take this knight off the board. And let's just grab the bishop. Oh, it's going for a center control. Okay, let's just bring the knight up. We have the supporting pawn here. And let's just bring the bishop through. And castle. All simple stuff at this moment in time. So this is where we have to look for the potential magic in the situation. So I do like the idea of... Not that. I was meant to put it here. To say that I like the idea of stopping the knight from jumping here. Now that is all messed up. That's not what I wanted to play. So I'm actually going to push around the side a little bit. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to play at all. Um, this is like congested the centering. Uh, okay, so the knight's moved. Let's just get some activity going here. And let's push again. We've got the queen supporting. Uh, the queen's not supporting anymore, but it's looking for some devastation somewhere. Let's capture. And let's just bring the queen across here. This queen's eyeing up this square for some reason. Nice getting into the situation. It's coming down for the bishop here. And while they're doing that, I'll just come here. Yes, yeah, coming for the bishop. Let's go here. And let's just take. And if they don't take, just uh, bring the bishop back. Yeah, it's going for all these nice simple maneuvers, um, which is okay. Let's just bring the knight across. Potential for attacking there. Ooh, oh, we can take that off the board. He's just giving us that for free. And it looks like they may have left the game. So it looks like some simple maneuvers, looking at what the opponent potentially can do and not being afraid of stuff that we know if they do do, they're just going to get taken. So we'll claim victory on that. So that was an interesting game. Um, again, made a, made a mistake in the opening part, um, obviously with my pawn maneuver. But again, it's just genuinely looking at trying to improve your position again on the board you know yes you've made a mistake and um, like in the previous game um, where we misplaced our queen and it got fork with the pawn on the knight and the queen um, it's still looking at trying to improve your position yeah all i was going to do was play here because uh, i was just going to say well it stops the knight really thinking about coming to these squares here so somehow we again reframed our mindset so it's for the opponent to show the potential advantage if they've got any yes the pawns are in the center of the board um, it's just the lockdown thing because even though they're locking it down for us they're also locking it down for themselves so that's the danger side of doing those types of lockdown type of um, maneuvers so as we saw we just started pushing the small pieces onto the higher pieces and just making more space again attacking um, the pawns equal and then the queen comes off of the defense of this pawn which kind of didn't make any sense but um, we could see the only way that they were going to come through was with their queen if they were looking to come around the back I couldn't really see any other benefits because the bishop's biting on the pawn here knight's struggling to find something to do if it does come round yeah, it's obviously going to attack the bishop but we've got the queen and the rook on that file so they did a lot of knight moves, you know, one, two, instead of maybe looking to improve their rook's positions or something, um, backing up the attack area rather than there was no potential attack area developed around the king side area. It's one piece that is actually coming to do all the work. So we can simply come across here and we can bring the knight down i mean i can see in a way why they did it because it's got a check on the king but maybe they forgot that the bishop was there you know the stealth bishop was there it does happen 
yeah because it looks nice but really what is it actually doing after that i couldn't see anything else yeah, he's gone for a check probably expecting us to move here so say if we did move here where where was it planning to go next maybe it was going for the outpost here yeah looking to attack the knight the rook and then it's going to sit there forever controlling the spaces that's the only thing i can probably think they were thinking from doing that particular move so that was a lot of wasted moves about three or four moves with the knight rather than developing their pieces so again we took advantage of that lack of development from the opponent and we were disadvantaged because it wasn't the opening that we were looking to play and the opponent obviously didn't know that but we knew it and we had to jostle our best way to try and improve our position again position is key without your position you can't throw a tactic out there you know you can't you're not doing a tactic straight from your opening and um, you develop your position to then look at tactics